Welcome back. It's October and that means it's time to think pink. Today I'm going to show you a graduated pink boho rainbow for breast cancer awareness. I wanted the first arch of the rainbow to be a neon pink, but neon pink paint is tricky. So along with that paint, I'm going to mix a little bit of regular pink and a couple of drops of Liquitex Gesso to try and get a nice solid neon pink paint for that first arch. Now that the paint is mixed up, I'm gonna take a chalk pencil to line out the first arch just to give myself a little bit of a guideline and then go for it with the paintbrush. Kind of looking at one swipe to get the initial arch on there. It's not meant to be perfect. You can see already that this paint is gonna be a little bit difficult to get nice solid coverage, but that's okay, I'm gonna move on and make sure we get the other arches on there first. So I'm gonna start graduating down the colors of pink and then the normal pink ended up having better coverage than my custom mixed paint. So that was a fun adventure. Now I'm gonna move on to a lighter pink arch and then a final arch in white. And it's gonna take a couple of rounds to get good solid coverage for everything but the white. The white did really good. But you can see that this neon pink that I tried to mix just did not cooperate very well. So this video is going to be a good testament to practicing what I preach about embracing the imperfection. And you get to see the struggle as I go along with this paint because it didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. But I was able to salvage it and do some creative things to make that neon paint come through in the end. What I ended up doing to help that neon pink arch is just taking the Liquitex gesso and going over the pink that was already there to give it some coverage and to help it be more solid. And then I came back with the neon paint several times. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I had to go over it quite a few times because it just was light and it was see-through. So, and you can also see it kind of ended up being very similar to the arch below it. So the way I dealt with that is I have this jelly bean pink glitter that actually has some pink tint in it. So I figured that might change the arch enough to distinguish it from the pink arch next to it. So I went ahead and gave a couple of coats of this jelly bean glitter to that first arch. And then I took the hologram glitter, which is kind of an iridescent translucent glitter and put it on the light pink because we're gonna add some designs to the other arches, but I wanted some sparkle in there cause it's me. And I love my sparkly paints, you guys know that. The next step is going to be taking a small dotting tool and making small black hearts around that second arch. So it's literally just kind of a dot and drag to create those hearts. And I'm gonna create that all the way around the arch on both sides. And then I'm gonna take some of that hologram glitter paint and just add some dots of sparkle in between each of the hearts. Then on the next level with that lighter pink, I'm gonna add some different sized black dots on that light pink arch just to give it a little definition and then in between those top two pink arches I'm going to separate them since the pink is so similar and I decided to do tiny tiny little dots of kind of varying sizes they almost look like bubbles I think this might be my favorite part of this design it's those tiny little bubble dots just all the way around the rock to kind of define make a little difference between those two pinks since they ended up coming out so similar now I'm going to take a broad tipped Posca paint pen. This is a PC3M and it's pink and I'm going to draw the pink ribbon on kind of as a base. This isn't going to give the same kind of coverage that I want. So I'm just getting kind of the shape on there so that I can come back with a paintbrush and I'm going to match it to that second arch. I'm going to use that same pink and just fill in the pink ribbon so it's nice and bright and stands out and of course I'm going to come back with some more glitter paint on this. The pink ribbon will not get away without some sparkle but first I want to make it nice and bright and stand out. And here comes the glitter paint. I decided to go for gold on this one and I started with the hologram glitter paint which is that translucent kind of iridescent one. I used a disposable eyeliner brush and then kind of patted it down so it wasn't lumpy with a bigger brush. And then I came back with that jelly bean pink on top of it. So this got a double layer of glitter. I wanted it to really stand out and be extra sparkly. So that's why it got two layers. I did another variation of this design on a rock that had room for writing, so I wanted to write, in October, we wear pink, and I wanted to write pink in pink, except my pink pen was kind of dying. So I had to go over it, and over it, and over it. So this is the rock of many coats <laughs> for all of the things, whether it was rainbow arches or the writing. 
I wanted to add a little bit of definition to the pink ribbon, so I took my Sakura Pigma fine line brush pen and gave a nice outline of black. And on this one, I decided to draw the line over that I just did right there. And on the other rock, I didn't do it. So you could kind of do it either way. It's pretty recognizable what this is either way you do it. And then I added a little bit of a shadow by moving a little bit darker off to the right and down. Shadows are fun. It adds kind of a nice definition. So it's a little bit darker off to the right and down from the actual ribbon itself. I had a hard time getting as good a video of these finished with the resin because it was a cloudy day so I didn't have sunshine to work with. But I tried to get them under some bright lights for you so you could see the sparkle once that resin was on there and man that glitter paint really popped. So even though this was a design of many coats on both of the stones, I think it came out really cute and I think this is going to make somebody smile. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch today. Remember that early detection saves lives. Don't forget to check out this video I have on the screen for you, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.